What is up guys? We are back with another BIOS video and today we're checking out the BIOS on the ASRock X570 Tai Chi motherboard. Now this BIOS should be pretty much the same across ASRock's entire X570 line. Obviously like the Tai Chi clockwork stuff will be a little bit different depending on uh, you know what X570 board you have from ASRock but the menus and everything like that should be pretty much the same across the entire line. Now one thing that is absent from this BIOS right away is there's no easy mode or you know, uh, loading screen or, or start screen that gives you like XMP and, and all that stuff. We did see it on their Z390 boards, but on their B450 as well as our X570 uh, boards, we don't have it. I don't know why it's not there. Um, I don't know if they're just not using it anymore, um, but it would have been nice to have like an easy mode to set XMP, especially if you're a beginner, you've never been in a BIOS before, it would have been nice to have that easy mode. But when you do drop into the BIOS, you're gonna be on the main screen here first. This is gonna give you all of your information. So our BIOS version, the processor that you're running, processor speed, the uh, microcode updates, total memory, and then where your memory is installed. Now, if you're gonna be doing overclocking or any type of system tuning, you wanna go into OC Tweaker. And this is also where you're gonna set your XMP profile. So for those who need to do that, it is in OC Tweaker. So here uh, we have our overclock mode. Now, if you're gonna be doing overclocking, I'm just gonna show you this really quickly. Um, so for Ryzen processors, all you have to do to overclock is you go from auto to manual, make sure that's set at 100, Go down here uh, to CPU and voltage change and put that to manual. And that's gonna allow you to overclock. So, you, so, you know, our processor is running at uh, 3,800 megahertz. You know, we can type in what our overclock would wanna be. Obviously we wanna bump up the, the voltage and you can do it right there. You don't have to go through a couple menus. It's kind of nice that you have that ability to do that. I wanna go ahead and put this back on auto. Um, but if you're not overclocking, everything should just remain on auto. Um, DRAM information, this will give you your information on your memory, all the timings and things like that. Um, load DRAM profile, this is a little interesting because um, it actually has built-in profiles, like overclocking profiles for certain memory. Um, so we can see Trident Z Royal, uh, 4200 megahertz. So like overclocking profiles are built in for Corsair DOMs, the, the Geals Super Loose and Trident Z Royal um, if you wanted to overclock. Um, but that's not our XMP. So XMP is right here and you can load your XMP profile and of course changes your frequency and everything like that. Now, if you want to like tighten up your timings, you can go into here and go ahead and tighten your timings. But again, if you just want to change your XMP profile, it's right here on load XMP setting. Going down, um, we have our, our, all of our voltages here. And again, if your CPU overclocking, you don't have to change this down here. Again, I'll just show you really quickly. If you're in the ASRock BIOS, you just CPU frequency and voltage change, make that manual. Here is your CPU frequency. Here is your uh, V-Core or CPU voltage. Really easy to do. We'll put that back on auto. Now going down, you can uh, change your voltage mode from stable mode, which is like pretty much everything on auto, but you can go into OC mode and there's, you know, some different settings like over current and over voltage protection are, in, uh, you can change these now. So if we put it back on stable, they're not there obviously. So here you can change all of your voltage settings, V core, DRAM, things like that. Um, you can also change your load line calibrations. Um, so if you are overclocking and it's not as stable, you can change these. That's something you might want to do. Same thing with the SOC voltage and SOC load line, load line calibration. You can go ahead and do that all the way at the bottom. We have our user profiles. Um, you know, you can save profiles, you can load profiles, things like that. So if you have like an overclocking profile, you can save it right here. And now we'll go over to advanced and advanced has kind of like everything that's on the board, right? Um, so CPU configuration, this just gives you the information on your CPU and all of the different settings that you can enable or disable or set to auto for your CPU. Onboard devices, um, you know, this is just different things, you know, your audio, front panel audio, you can turn on and off, things like that, uh, Bluetooth on and off, uh, the WAN, everything like that, you can set on and off here. Storage configuration, of course, you can set your storage uh, to either RAID or AHCI, and it gives you 
your list of devices, we only have one drive installed. Uh, so it is right there, ACPI, just different things for that. Trusted computing, if we had a TPM device uh, installed, we would have more, you know, more settings for that TPM device. AMD CBS, um, different options for your CPU and things like that. And the AMD PBS, again, more things set here um, for AMD specific settings. And then you have AMD overclocking. And again, we talked about this in our previous X570 uh, BIOS video, is that if you go in and change these settings in this menu, you will void your warranty on your processor. So if you hit accept, you can you know mess with different things on precision boost overdrive you can mess with uh soc stuff so eco mode you know what i mean um oops things in eco mode and, and things like that so if you do change these you will void your warranty if you happen to you know ruin your processor so i wouldn't suggest doing that but again you can go no c tweaker and change all these settings and you won't void your warranty so just uh, don't go in there if you don't really need to. Um, and then, you know, you full HD UEFI and things like that. Under tools, we have our RGB LED settings. Um, so you can set the settings for the entire board. Um, so, you know, one uh, effect for the entire board before you even install their RGB software, you can set the timing um, of that effect and then you can apply it and things like that. Um, SSD secure erase. This is always great to have. Um, this, you know, basically if you're looking to sell an SSD, you know, even if you format it, you, there's still ways to get that data. So there you have a secure erase tool. Um, say this is kind of the same thing, but it's basically for NVMe drive. So again, great. If you're selling an old drive or something like that, you don't want people to get in your information. And then we have instant flash. Um, if I hit enter, this will search all of my connected devices. Actually, I believe I do have one. Um, so yeah, I have our latest BIOS here. So, you know, it finds it on your flash drive and it will update. We'll go ahead and close that. And then under hardware monitor, this is everything that's going on with our system, CPU temperatures, motherboard temperatures, things like that. It is running a little hot uh, because it's hot as hell in my office and because we were overclocking. So we are running at 4.4 on all four or all 12 cores here. Uh, your fan speeds, your voltages and everything like that. Um, so, you know, if you are having an issue somewhere, you can kind of find it in here. Um, we also have fantastic, uh, this is going to run it. Uh, this is actually going to tune our system. So we will go ahead and, uh, let this run and this will, you know, basically tune your system. I didn't mean to click it, but I did. So we'll let this go ahead and run through. All right. So fan tuning is complete. I didn't mean to run it, um, but we went through it very quickly. Um, but this gives you your fan settings um, or your optimal fan settings that it kind of suggests for you. Now we'll go ahead and get out of that and we'll go down into fantastic tuning. And this allows you to set all your fan curves for all of your fans and fan headers. You can see them all here and you can select silent standard performance or full speed. So if you want to tune a certain fan that's connected to a certain header, you can go ahead and do that. Um, and then you have your, um, your also your fan settings. Um, so again, like you, you can set your temperatures, like if the CPU is at 40 degrees, um, you know, the fan duty is 23. Like you can kind of set everything the way you want. And then under fan configuration, you can set this up, set this up as well, um, for the different fan settings. So you can do this all before you install windows to get your system, you know, running the way that you want. We'll go out of there and then into security. Um, this just allows you to set a supervisor password or a user password, secure boot options and things like that. Under boot, uh, you have all of your boot options. Um, you can just enable or disable a boot beep. I always disable it. Um, you know, full screen logo, things like that. And then under exit here, we, you know, we can save changes and do all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we have boot override, which again, I love. Um, this allows you to, you know, set your boot options. And then, you know, if I want to boot override to a USB device, I can go ahead and do that, install Windows. And then when my system restarts, I don't have to worry about pulling that drive out. It's just going to boot to my default device. So I like that in here. And of course, I always like load defaults. Um, you know, you mess things up you want to load those defaults back so you can go ahead and do that. Um, 
you know, that's pretty much it for this BIOS. Um, a couple things a lot of people ask is that one, it's not sluggish. Two, of course, you can use your keyboard and your mouse. You know, I can move everything around and click through things. I can also type in values, uh, which is nice. So if we go up here, um, just to show you, we'll go all the way up here and we go to manual. And of course I can type in, you know, my overclock and type it in. Um, that is nice as well. Again, it's weird that there's no easy mode. I would have liked to have seen that just for beginners, people who, you know, want to set their boot devices, want to set up their XMP profile. And that's basically it. Um, you know, to get an XMP profile, I have to go over to here and then go down to here, whether, you know, if I'm in the easy mode, I can just like hit one button. So it would have been, you know, much easier that way. I don't know why they've taken it out of their uh, AMD BIOSes, I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it is a good BIOS, it does work. Um, so if you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And again, we'll have a lot of X570 stuff coming up, so definitely stay tuned for that. So we'll see you guys in the next video.